Okay, I wanted to talk about something. The DoorDash no tip, no trip. And how people are making this big thing where it's no tip, no trip. And they're telling all the new people, tip, no trip. Which, it does work. It does understandably work. But I think some of those people need to get on the hourly thing and run that once a week maybe a little bit la maybe once a week one, maybe once or twice a month and the reason why I'm saying this is that all the bad stuff all the bad orders with the no tips usually come on that that I have I know I have probably close to 14 people when I see their names come up they always they don't tip at all three of them are businesses they don't tip all right and I've t personally talked to them and they've told me each time they don't want to tip because they believe that the drivers aren't getting the whole money that the tip is offering instead they would rather hand people the tip so when I see those 14 people come up I grab them I don't care if I'm under a dollar a mile. I mean, I got like three of them that are over the dollar a mile situation. Because I figure that DoorDash gives probably about three, maybe four dollars at max that they pay for. And everything else is through the tips. And it's usually around two. My area is like two to three. Somewhere in there. But... The idea is that you have to spend time to go talk to some of these people. The ones that say, uh, hand it to me, don't discredit them right off the top. Because like I said, I got like 14 people that I got mentally have and I got it on the list. And anytime I see them come up, I grab them because I make cash off them. I don't know how your area works or anything like that, but during the day when I work for Spark and DoorDash and stuff like that, I make anywhere from $10 to up to $50 in cash. In cash. Not on the machines, not on the tip things. Because a lot of people in my area, a lot of people understand that the workers are the ones that need the money and not the mechanics, not the, the people that are doing all this other stuff. And the issue then becomes that, think about this, when you go to a restaurant and you, you have to give a tip, all right, you look at good food, everything, service was great. Okay, at the restaurant, do you take money and you set it on the table if you have cash? Or do you go to the register and just put it on the, the bill and write it on as tip? Well, me, when I walk into a, a restaurant and I sit down and eat, I always bring cash because I give the tippers the cash. I give the person who is waiting on me the cash. I don't do it through the credit card. The reason being is you don't know exactly where that tip is going. You don't know if they're getting they're getting cut off. You don't know what's going on with it. You don't even know if it is a tip for everybody or just that waitress. I know it's hard to, to imagine stuff like that, but a lot of people think this way. I think this way. I don't really, I'm going to back up now, but I really don't, I, that's how I think. I think uh, that the tipper should give the person who's doing the service the money. And I kind of think of that way too. I'm going to run into some. I kind of think of that way too, but it's up to you. But what I'm thinking is, I would rather give the money 
to the person who waited on me rather than just on a card because I would rather them have it and let them decide what to do with it. And the other thing is that when you get the cash, Uncle Sam doesn't have to actually know. But when they do it through DoorDash and stuff like that, you do have to inform Uncle Sam. If you're fair enough, yes, you inform Uncle Sam that you made this money. But like tippers do, like waitresses do, they don't claim everything. You don't have to either if you get cash. So I want you to keep this in mind because I think a lot of people are not tipping on DoorDash, not because they don't want to tip. It's because they would rather hand the person the money. Now, the ones that give, uh, give an account where they say, oh, I'll just leave it at the door. You're not going to get a tip. But the ones that say, put it in my hand, don't get mad at them because I'm telling you, Sometimes you go up there, you, you hand them the bag, ah, good morning, stuff like that, and they say, hey, let me get you some cash. And I said, what do I do? Some, like I said, sometimes I make money and sometimes I don't. But I just want you guys to think about this before you guys follow the no tip, no trip thing. Because like I said, I got 14 people that are on my list and when they order something that is like 40 bucks feeding the family or whatever i get 10 15 dollars for just for delivering their order uh there's a couple businesses i do have on file like three businesses and i know every one of those businesses i get a minimum of ten dollars but it doesn't show up on DoorDash. It says zero. I want you guys to really think about this. Make a list. The ones that drop off at the door don't want to see you. Yes, do not take their order. But you're not going to know until you do take their order. That's the whole problem. That's the gambling part of the issue. But when you find somebody who is willing to, well, they want it handed to them, then you need to think about that because it's really awesome that they hand you cash. And I get a lot of my cash tips from Spark. Delivering food and stuff to older people and they like things set in a certain way. They maybe like... Uh, they got some chairs. They like the things put in chairs. And if you follow the instructions and do it right, they will come out and hand you a tip. I don't know if it's in every neighborhood or it's just my neighborhood, but I appreciate the people who come out and give tips. They really appreciate what I do. And I believe that other people they believe other people but I think a lot of people are doing the no tip no trip and they're taking it to extremes if it makes a dollar a mile do it if it's anything low do it because you never know and if it says hand it to them don't get upset because you may be getting a tip that may be the reason why they write that on there Hmm, something to think about. Gotta go. Bye.